Ah, yes, the surfing squirrel, Pachirisu. Ah, yes, the surfing squirrel that loves the sun, Pachirisu. It's the surfing Pikachu clone. Oh, obviously. He has an assault vest. I'll take that. Gimme the gimme 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 that. There we go. Eliminate makes the Pokemon blink after a turn that it is damaged. Okay, gotcha. We're all good on this front. No more trainers to fight. Well, maybe the one trainer that I might have missed, but otherwise, we fine. We good. Any cool pocket monsters in here? Well, there's that. Yay! Oh, didn't I keep pressing buttons? Like the fool I am. Oh well. Citrus berry. An actual berry under here. Oh, a zoom lens. Another actual berry. And uh, King's Rock. Yep, that's a berry. That's berry good, in fact. Hello. You would wonder why a golfer is here in the meadow. Hello, if it isn't Water Geek, where might you be off to? Isn't that where Team Skull makes its base? Just look at me. This sort of noble dedication is what you would expect of a president, even. Not that a foolish child could. Ahem. Foolish child. Bitch. Gee, I wonder if there's a Pokemon to be photographed over here. Also, where are these stickers in here? This is... Uh... Ula Ula Meadow. Okay, it's... I think it's in the water right up there. There it is. <laughs> well, I'm just very lost. But you're still gonna have to defeat all the trainers here before I tell you outright. It's embarrassing! You gotta prove your worth! Yo, that Leo is very lit! I'm just gonna switch to my turtle. I pledge to light the whole land on fire. Elect Lit Leo 2021. Whee! Yeah! yeah, yeah. Shouldn't it be evolved already? What, Lit Leo? Yeah, probably. Sableye, I think you mean fairy type fodder. Not that, um, not that Scizor has very high special attack, but, you know. It's a unique move, a signature even. Gallic Gun! Wang. Hello, developer. I'm always hard at work on my computer. 
And it's an acorn. Congratulations, it's an acorn! Or maybe it's a beehive. Maybe it's a beehive. Let's go send some bees out to investigate it. Nope, wasn't a beehive. Meadow plate. Well, that makes too much sense, honestly. Oh, hello, Nuzleaf. I know I've said it before, but I really like the the uh, C dot line. Don't know why. Just always liked them. Well, I guess this Nuzleaf is uh, dead, probably. Let me blaze kick it. Maybe it won't survive. Blaze kick, as in take my two sides and slash them forward. Damn, I didn't want to learn how babies were made today. I'm not in school or nothing. You can't teach me shit. Alternatively, you can't teach me shit. Hi! Oh. Just gonna take a sip of my water here. Hi! Man, there's a mysterious force stopping her from moving. Wonder what that could be. Just gonna. Uh. 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 She still doesn't see me. Uh. Wait, hang on. Uh. Okay, there we go. Now I'm out of her way. Hello! Do you know about super strong Pokemon? Oh yeah, I know about super strong Pokemon. You know, Pokemon that didn't have a weakness until Gen 6. I know all about them. Bees! Ah yeah, Spear Tomb and its Steel Wing. I wonder if one of its souls is just Skarmory. Meteor Mash, you say? Eh, maybe not, actually. I thought it was stronger than that. Mm. Yeah, no, I'm not really feeling it anymore. I'm good. Beware, sure will. Uh, fire move or confusion? Famous numbers do be getting around. Yeah, and in Platinum, I'm pretty sure one of the gym leaders was also Pi. Among other characters in the game. Other characters in the game also were called Pi for some reason. Oh, he's mad! Look out! I like Beware. He's cute and can kill me. Ah, yes. Planting his roots as a bear does. Stop it! I said super. 
She didn't have anything to say outside of that. It's just she didn't say super. Look at this tall ass grass. In the shape of a... Please tell me I'm not the only one who sees that shape. If you know, you know. Also, is there a way I can even get down? Oh yeah, no, duh. There's a stairway over here. Hey, look, Oricorio, you're in the wrong meadow. I like that, just totally blunt. It's a dick and balls. Did you win? Yes, you were able to identify what male genitalia looked like first. Uh, congratulations, Kenny. Um, do you have anything else to report on the matter? Do you feel proud of the fact that you can identify a cock and balls right from the get-go? In any given circumstance. In fact, if you were to look anywhere in the room right now that you're currently sitting in, can you spot uh, a meat and two veg? Are you phallic minded enough to spot genitalia on the walls in items in video games oh did this guy just call me a hoe look i might be talking about penises a lot but it does not mean i'm fixated on cock and balls I'm going to call some bullshit on this. I'm going to call some real bullshit on this. Right the hell now. I have Ice Punch, but I don't know if it's going to one-shot the thing. I think we're fine for now. He's got weak-ass moves. Oh, yeah, he gave his Pokemon a Flame Orb. Forgot about that. <laughs> what the fuck, Zygarde? And... Uh, a bye. Well, actually, never mind. Zygarde is still really strong, so he can't get one shot by a Stab Ice Punch. No, yeah, Z the Zygarde in the Abandoned Market was just... Like, he sent off all of his other 300% forms, and now there's, like, a third 100% form out somewhere. Um, we've also run into the dog version of him somewhere. I don't remember where. Uh, but he's lingering around somewhere. Also, here comes Wishy Washy. Place your bets. We have two out of three uh, probability, and okay, it's the big one. Uh, so, there are three forms of wishy-washy that can spawn in this particular randomizer. There's this one, there's this tiny one, and then there's the totem one. So, it's actually more likely that the big one will show up whenever wishy-washy shows up. Also, hold up. Why is it that uh, I did less damage to it after it got burned? Does it have um, my Lotix ability of taking less damage when suffering a status affliction? Bye now. Marvel scale, that's the one. Here, have this flame orb. I put it in my bag and it just incinerates. Uh, 
boosts physical defense upon receiving status. Okay, well then that wouldn't be Marvel scale. I guess I I was at the strong end of a damage range at first, and then the weak end at the next. I guess. Oh. Anyway, we're here, we're here at Poe Town. Hi, Meowth. Don't mind me. Just gonna nice, 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 nice. Just gonna rip off this decal from someone's computer. Is there an inverse of Marvel scale? Yeah, isn't it like a DC Scythe? No, not Scythe. DC Antenna? No. DC Fang. There we go. Kablamo. You did already do that joke. I wanted to take it a step further. Hope you didn't mind. Uh, ball. It's a hippo. What's it got? Decent moves. Not for a hippowdon, though. Kind of like, did I miss anything? You missed absolutely nothing. Nothing, in fact, happened today. It's been very boring. Two hours and 30 minutes. Everyone in chat can confirm. No one's been having a good time. Ew, that's... Ew. <laughs> oh, poor spiderweb. Being shot out of hip out on like that. Yeah! Oh no, we just, well, we almost killed the shiny hip out on. Whatever would we have done? It sure would be a shame if I accidentally pushed the same attack button again. Wait, what did I do? Yeah! And there goes the shiny hip out on. Finally, Dodogama grew to level 36, so he can finally evolve into Blastoise. Alright, and he's evolved into Blastoise. Let's go. Oh my god, a shiny Drifloon! There he is! So rad. Take it easy. Um... <clears throat> ball. But what if it was a shiny? Why didn't you catch it? Because I already caught a Hippowdon. I didn't need a Pokemon that was already caught. Except if it was Necrozma, which I already have two of. Floon. Da ding What you got? Hey! Thank you for extending your tier 1 subscription through September. Sniper? D um? Oh, okay, never mind. It's physical. Never mind. Forget it. It's not as good. Flame Burst, though. Kind of good. Water Pulse? Kind of good. Ingrain? Eh. I do have two Necrozma. Both of them are the uh, ones that absorbed... Uh, what are their names? So Galio and Lunala. Quickly, run from the Gorbis. You don't want to keep hurting yourself with that wood hammer. <gasps> Yay, bottle cap. Let's go. Now all we need is level 100 Pokemon. It's a shiny Huntail. Holy crap. Okay, so it's a Grumpig, right? It is a Grumpig, 100%. But, bees.
Not particularly concerned with catching a Grumpig. Am I alone in thinking that it's just kind of painfully average and just not very interesting? Spoink is more interesting than Grumpig is. Hi, Toracat. The tune across may mean that the light would be sucked up twice as fast, or would it make a paradox where one constantly sucks the other one of their light? Hmm. I would think one cancels out the other. Like, if one Necrozma was Dawn Wings and the other one was Dusk Main, or whatever it was, um, then it would be a case of one of them trying to suck up the light, the other one trying to suck up the light as well, so it's just, like, pulling at the light. It'll be compacted, so it'd be like looking through a sort of porthole view, or not even porthole view, but just, like, a, a limited view. And the light can only go through that. That's that's my theory on the matter. He's got the psychic. And he's also got a hammer, hammer, hammer arm. Oh, there he goes. Dragon Rush, dragging these nuts across the ground. And ball. Just throw it at a cat, have it play around with it. He did not want to play with it. Hanging in there, Dodogama. Keep going. Oh yeah, Ultra Necrozma is in the hands of Guzma. Or at least he was. He's probably going to switch it up next battle, but still. Three Necrozma. I'm sure we've run into the fourth one as well. Bug Jim. He spotted a shiny thing and just took it for himself. Gimme. Spell tag, you're it. Oh, spell tag? Okay, T A G. There we go. I got it. Joke achieved. It's a bird. Never seen this bird! Um, spheroid. That is the same bird that attacked Lily. God. Eh. No attacks. More like S. Piro. Got him. Oh, hang on. Let me, uh, S. Piro. I don't remember which root had a TM on it. Was that a Michael Jackson sound effect that played whenever she noticed me? Now, for this rat, we're just gonna scare it half to death. There we go. Ah, didn't kill it. And it tried to sing me to sleep. Adorable. Bees. I didn't think I was faster. That's why I didn't use bees in, at the first place. In the first place. In first place. Bees do not counteract the blue shell. Contrary to popular belief. 
I'm thinking. I'm doing it. I'm thinking. Yeah, let's do let's do some dragon ascending. Dragon D's nuts. Good. I'm glad that was the uh, the Ed Ed Nettie sound effect. Let's do another one. How about uh, this one? All right. Whip it good. <laughs> oh, I don't think I'd seen that before. Doug, Doug, yeah, Doug Trio is actually on top of a rock so that you don't know what's underneath him. Let's go! <laughs> That's great. I'm sorry, did, it, did he yell out Guzma? A turtle. A friend. You like jazz? You like jazz? <laughs> Under Doug Trio is another Doug Trio. Whoa. Infinite Doug Trio. Everyone say it with me. Yeah! Even the song is saying it. Infinite Doug Power, Doug Finity. Doug Turnal. Doug. Dig Doug. Now let me go get that TM, but after that, I should probably call it for the stream. And. And. Uh, and uh, yeah, there we go. Nah. Nah. It's just whatever. Alright. That'll just about do it. <sighs> oh, thanks everybody for watching today's stream. Uh, next week there will not be a randomizer stream on Wednesday. I might push it to Tuesday if possible. I don't know if I'm going to be able to, but stay tuned. Um, I'll probably post about it. Uh... The week after that should be back to normal, though. Alright, everyone have a good one. Bye!